All right, this is Orc of Seasons Archipelago Randomizer. I am playing on a new version, which is allowing us to test out bomb shoes. So we'll uh, get to try that out. This is not an official version yet, it's just out there for testing. But uh, otherwise we're going to be doing pretty much the normal stuff. Okay. Tracker is broken, so we're not going to auto track. I figured it was going to be because of the addition of bomb shoes. Everything's going to be moved over by one. Can we kill the Dongo with bomb shoes? That is a good question. Okay. Is that m normal on the menu? I don't think it is. I think that is something different. Yeah, I'm just going to drop right in here. Okay, nice rupees. I want to say this was summer. I didn't actually check to see if it was summer or not. So we need six essences. We have six seeds that we need to plant. So we got a lot to do today. Uh, Hero's Cave is... And yeah, it is summer. Okay. So let me see how many golden bees. Okay, we didn't need to kill any. That's good. Oh, okay. That's perfect. Flippers. Oh, I should probably uh, plant a seed before I go anywhere. Uh, maybe I should buy some stuff from the shops, too, because now I have a lot of money. Oh, it is randomized. Okay. I, I don't actually need to buy that. <laughs> I'll buy it just in case I want to go in the front door, but I don't actually need to buy it. Sometimes it might just be better to go in the front door. Alright, so we got the doll and the egg. Oh no, I haven't checked member shop yet. Yeah, I should check that. Oh, okay. 
take the boomerang. We'll come back for the bow. For the ribbon. I need five more rupees. Did I enable Instant Rosa? Is that an option? I didn't see it in the, uh, the YAML. Unless it's automatically... On... Oh, you know what? I can actually clear this. I can clear this with the boom right now. Oh, it's in host. I didn't look in host at all. I assumed it would just be in the regular template. Like any any changes would have just been in the regular template, not in the host. Alright, there's our five rupees, okay. Iron pot. Uh I can get into Sabrosia, so I should go ahead and do this. Or I have a potential to get into Sabrosia through Spool Swamp. So I should grab the ribbon in case I have to go do a whole bunch of stuff. Also, I have not checked the Heroes Cave entrance. That is true. So many things going on. I I'm more distracted by the tracker not working, so <laughs> I'm not like paying attention to a lot of things. But yeah, let's let's actually check the front door of Heroes Cave. Okay, I can't do anything in here anyway. need for this. Two, okay. Not terrible. Let me go ahead and turn in the ghastly doll. straight to spool. What do we got here? Summer. So yeah, we do have access to Subrosia. Also, I can't kill them, but I can at least open that up. Okay, can't do a ton here, but it is a few things doable here.
I could switch it on and repatch to enable the Instant Rosa. Eh, that's too much. Too much effort. I'll just turn it on for next time. So if we don't get anything here, then we probably have to go swimming in the overworld. Oh, we got Feather. Okay. So we have access to a million things now. Definitely do Rosa, then, like, do the entire world tour around Zabrosa. Banana! Probably come back and get the market and the portal down here. I'm not going to do that now because I have a saving quit set up by the temple. And that's going to get Rosa up there really quickly. Let me uh, mark these while I remember. Master Black, okay. Because last time we played, <laughs> we had starting maps and compasses, and they didn't get auto tracked. But we, we don't have the auto tracker working anyway, so I have to remember to actually mark them. Ore chunks. So we might be able to buy something from the market. That's actually very interesting, depending on what portal we get. Because I could see that being Eastern Suburbs exit, and then we go up to Sunken from there. But 
let's see what we got in the market first. Hopefully, 26 gets me something. We got bombs? Uh... Is this- is this free money? It is free money. But I don't have enough for it. I don't have enough for the bombs, either. Okay. We'll print money, and then we buy bombs. I'm interested in that heart ring, but I'm sure I probably don't have enough for it. Oh, okay. Volcano. Wait, did that did that work? Okay, that's weird. It triggers the cutscene of Rosa leaving first. Okay. And then you have to come back in to trigger the volcano cutscene. Let me just check how much this is. 30? Okay. I mean, I have bombs now. I can I can do a bunch of things. More bombs. Bomb lock bombs. You gotta love them. Actually, with bombs, I can get one check in D7. I don't know if I really want to go in there yet without, like, an actual combat weapon. Speaking of... Let's go. Let's go ahead and, uh do a little bit in here. Also, now that I have a weapon, I can logically... get maple, and I can grow the first tree. Maybe they were logically bomb you locked? That's true. Because those bombs in the market are, aren't necessarily our first bombs. But they are explosive locked, period. Oh, I guess the, yeah, the expert's ring was bomb locked as well. So we don't have logical weapons yet.
You know, I'm gonna keep that because why not? Get out of my way. Actually, you know what? I do have... I do have logic. I have the boomerang. I can kill keys forever. I have Boomerang and I have Hero's Cave access. It's slow, but it's doable. I'm just gonna do it for the first tree. Probably only need... I'll do, like, two more sets. It's five at a time. I've already killed a handful of things anyway, so... Another ten should be okay. Expert's Ring is hard logic. Fist Ring is hard logic. Expert should be medium. Alright, there's Maple. So we've killed at least 30. Oh, I don't have a way of harvesting. Oh, no, I do. I do. No, it, it doesn't work? Oh wait, Expert Ring. Expert Ring should work. No? Okay. I guess we can't harvest. That makes things even more interesting here. They absolutely need a sword for that. Oh, there's Autumn. Okay. Hold on, that gives me D5 entrance access. I'll probably end up going there pretty soon. This looks like a Moosh set. Yeah, it's definitely Moosh. So I can't get the Sunken just yet. Okay, Seed Satchel. Now that opens up a ton of things. Like, I have my Out of Logic Ember Seeds that I can use.
plus my out of logic bombs. Plus everything just out of logic. Oh, was the tree in Haldern Plains? It was embers. I, I didn't even pay attention to it, honestly. Because I didn't have seed access at that point. Oh, there's bomb shoes! Look! There they are! They exist! But yeah, so if they're if embers are accessible, then they're now in logic. Actually, no. Oh yeah, they are. They are because we have the seasons. The seasons make it in logic, not the embers. Oh, uh, not the uh, what you call it? The expert ring. Oh, we have the banana. We just need a way to get over there. Because we don't have a way... We need a shovel. We need a shovel, or we need something city access. Oh, there's Amber Locked Satchel. Part two. Oh, we have we have sunken access now. Hold on, we do. Because now that we have actual ember seeds, we can go this way, and we can go up through here. Yeah, this works. Well, you can go get bomb juice right now. So before I do, I'm just going to grab a couple things here. This is going to open up the shortcut as well. check the portal, we'll, and then we'll probably just end up going up to Mount Kuko. More bombs! Okay. Those... Those are logical bombs. Because the only thing locking those were Ember Seeds. We have logical Ember Seeds. So yes, we have logical bomb access, which means we have logical access to all of our bombs.
Oh, and that's just an easy vanilla shortcut. I can't get that one. I can't get that one just yet. As we've already d determined. We are going to need a sword or fool's or in order to free us from, uh, the trees. Oh, there's another gash seed, finally. another gash to see back there, but we can't get it. Uh, yeah, I might be a little short on ore for the market. But most of the bombs are accessible. Wait, I have nothing else I can get over here. Yeah, I could just do that. Engine grease, okay. I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm not gonna plant up here. It's too, too far out of the way. I'll plant it somewhere further down. Oh yeah, I have Master Plaque, right? I didn't mark it. More bombs! Oh, it doesn't take bomb juice either. That's good to know. Ooh! Second set of bomb juice. You know what? I'm gonna plant up here. Yeah, I'll plant this one. This one's not too bad. Oh wait, I have a way of harvesting seeds. I should just be getting seeds. A 
Let's see, do I drop down here? Yeah, I think I do. More bomb shoes! Okay. It was default winter here. That's good for me. Okay, another seed. Actually, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go here, change the seed, so that way you can go through this wall. Yeah, I want to play around with some bomb juice. The only thing is I'm not... I don't know how to refill them if I use them, you know? So maybe we shouldn't be going crazy. Because I don't think they refill on uh, drops. Oh, Impa can refill? Okay. More bombs! <laughs> Alright. Even more bombs. We are bomber, man. Yeah, that's what I thought. Bomb tree drops aren't a thing yet. Oh, we got slingshot. Okay. So we're getting a lot of things. Still no sword, though. That's probably going to be the thing, is we're not going to get a sword for a while. We're just going to play Bomberman. Yeah, normally you can buy more from Syrup Shop, but in this rando, Syrup Shop has randomized items. And usually they're like super expensive. underwater? You know what? I haven't tried it. Let's see. Nope, I can't I can't use them. Oh, hello magic boomerang. Who needs a regular boomerang when you have a magic boomerang? Now we got I have Magic Boomerang, and I have Rang Ring level 2. <laughs> we can be doing a lot of work with our Boomerang, too. The 
the single rupee. Okay. Yeah, I'm making my way over to D2 entrance. We're gonna definitely do D2 via the alternate en entrance. Um, but we'll see what the front door has as well. How much damage does the sword do at different levels? Base sword is two, noble sword is three, master sword is five, if I remember correctly. And that's for like your regular sword slash. Uh, double that for any spin slashes. I don't know how bomb shoes do on cracked blocks like this. And since this room is timed, I'm not gonna chance it to figure it out. It's hard but doable. So that's telling me it doesn't actually, uh, home in on them. Yeah, it only homes in on certain enemies, okay. Magic Boomerang with Rang Ring level 2 measure up? I don't even know. I don't think it's that good. But it does damage some things. Like, it's really only good against Manhattan. That's the only place I would really ever use the boomerang as, like, a damage source. Oh, how does... How do bomb shoes do against facade? They seem like they do pretty good. Where does D2 entrance at? It's in D8, okay. Alright, so we'll just make our way through this dungeon. Yeah, the back entrance is always going to be on top of the vanilla area. And then the, the front entrance is the one that's randomized. 
That's what makes uh, not removing the alt exits interesting. Yes, the, the Woods of Winter is the place. I'm curious, what happens? Okay. Nothing... Nothing interesting. I was like... Can you jump and drop a bomb chew over a gap? But you can't. Let's see, I have all keys here. So I might as well just do everything. I realize now that I actually have Pegasus Seeds to speed up my movement a little bit. Alright, here's... The moment of truth. Are bomb shoes doable against the Dom? They do not work. Now the question is, where is he in his pattern? Right, I think this is going to be a regular... Yeah. Okay. Oh, we got more bomb juice! Gladly take more bomb juice. Alright, let's see where this portal leads us to. Town, okay. Is there anything I want to do? No, I think I want to just head to the next area. Oh wait, I have... I think I have another Gasha Seed. I have two more. Hold on. I gotta plant these. Alright, so now we're good. Now we got three planted out of six.
The megaphone! That gets us another Gasha Seed. That'll get me four. I haven't checked out this old man yet. Let me see if this guy has got anything for us. More ore chunks. I think we're at a point where we have enough ore chunks to be able to purchase everything at the subversion market. So that puts those bombs logical at this point. much to do that I could actually do this with, but we'll make it work. Because I can get more mystery seed drops in this room here. I forget which ones. Okay, those two. I didn't want to come up here. I didn't want to come up here yet. I want to go this way first. Nice 30 root. I really don't need more money either. I already got pretty much everything I need to buy. The only shop left is the syrup shop, which requires the toadstool, which we don't have yet. Also requires winter, which we don't have yet. Oh yeah, I forgot to mark whatever sunken was. Um, what was it? Because I'm pretty sure it wasn't. It wasn't winter, it wasn't spring, I don't think. Yeah, because I had to change it to spring. I think it was summer. It might have been summer, actually. Or no, it might have been autumn. Alright, I'm not going to mark anything yet because I do 
do not remember. But we'll be back in that direction eventually. Oh, double hits? Love me some double hits, dude. Into more bomb juice. <laughs> yeah, we're just getting all the bomb juice, which is great. Something that we could actually utilize. It would be more interesting if we didn't have regular bombs as well, but it is what it is. Okay, that means the other small key has to be key locked. All right, bomb shoes do not work on these guys. I mean, you could probably get it to work, you just have to time the explosion, which is not going to happen. But yeah, you can kill those guys with uh, regular bombs. So I, that's why I tried it with bomb shoes there. Bomb shoes do not work here. Noted. I could maybe plant it somewhere. I'm trying to think of where else I have Gasha spots available that don't require the shovel. Uh, Spool Swamp. I could do the Spool Swamp one. Yeah, let's check what the eyeglass portal leads to. Because I have not checked that yet. Thank you. 
Okay. I will take that. Top of, top of Temple Remains gives me access to a couple other things. Another Gasha Seed. And then Bottom Remains goes to Furnace. I don't have the Bomb Flower yet, so I can't turn that in. I now have the shovel. I now have the shovel, which now opens up a million other things. And I'm getting all the gasha seeds I need. Yeah, so we're going to be in a very good situation. Only 51 enemies total are homed in by bomb juice. That seems like a very low amount of people. Like, a very low amount out of, like, the whole amount of game in the game. Oh, Fool's War! Oh no! <laughs> That means we can now officially harvest. Yeah, we can now harvest for sure. probably will want to do that. I want to plant as many of these gasha trees as I can first. Because I figure I want to just do one big harvest if I can. There's a total of 127 different types of enemies. Yeah, that sounds about right. So it's a little under half, which is, I guess, a decent percentage. But it's not ideal. And there's a sword! <laughs> okay. And there's a fish! We got a sword, we got a fish. Now we're getting Maple's Ring, even though we don't need it anymore. Okay, that, that hasn't grown yet. have enough. I absolutely have enough. Let's find some spots.
I think the ones outside Temple Remains are solid enough. Here. And then, oh, the, yeah, this will be it. This will be the last one. The one right here. So that's all I need. I did not get this, or no, I did, I did. Yeah, that's one of the things that was added, was an extra row of items to potentially offset any any new items that get added. So it opens up space for having bomb shoes plus all the cross items plus everything, potentially. Two jumps? Oh, no, please, no. <laughs> Alright, it was autumn. I'm gonna grab our 99 satchel up here. Just because I can. Also because it gives me a full refill. And then I'm gonna get the two items behind Talon. I know we- w I know one of them is just a Gasha Seed, we don't need to worry about it. But the other item, we don't know what it is. I don't remember. Oh, this went to the dungeon. This went to the dungeon. I think we go to Sabrosia here, we turn in the Pirate Bell. Uh, 
uh, anything I want to do here before I go? I really do not want to do hide and seek, so I'm not doing it. I can do it, I just don't want to. I didn't check Vanilla D2 entrance. Yeah, I don't have that marked. It's fine. We'll go back there eventually. I don't need to be there right now. It's all about the bomb shoes right now. <laughs> oh yeah, I can I can plant another one here as like a backup. Wait a second. Wait a second. I remember just before I made the jump that I want to be in fall. Now we're good. Because if this ends up being a good item, which... Eh, I'll take it. Piece of heart's not terrible. Alright, there's D1. Did I test bomb shoes against Aquamentus? I don't remember. Vanilla Bosky, okay. You know what that means? It means we go this way first. We go to the boss first. I could try it. Why not? Throw one bomb you out there. Yeah, it doesn't track. But I might be able to get a hit in. Yeah, no. Am 
Not worth it. Alright, that's three down. We've got what? Three more to go. Also, this is the best place to farm. Right there. Yeah, I figured. It only if they home in. Because otherwise, killing enemies without that is a nightmare. I have not even made it to School Swamp Upper yet. So maybe when we get School Swamp Upper access, we get... Tarm access? Very possible. Well, I wonder how it works on the Gurria brothers. Oh, they home in. They home. They my homeboy. So it's four, four bombshells. At a certain point, like everything else is just better than bombshells in certain spots. Oh, I might as well just, uh, kill a bunch of enemies here. Only giving bomb juice in your hack, no regular bombs. There's the rusty belt. Okay. That's a good spot for it. <laughs> Which also means the rest of our stuff is uh, ready to go. Wooden bird. up the ones uh, up here, because I've got three up here ready to go.
discovery ring? You can mod it so that you can add homing to any enemy. That's actually very useful if you wanted to just have bomb juice. That's number five. Last but not least. More bomb juice! <laughs> Alright, where do I want to go now? I can do the treehouse. I... I could have done this a little bit earlier, because I only needed two. But I've been, like, kind of putting it off, because I'm doing other things. Alright, I think we head back to, like, D2 entrance. Uh, I have three essences now. I could also check one more check inside the Maker Tree. The other thing is I could just go into D7. Seven was at Hero's Cave? Okay. I can make a lot of progress in there. Oh! That's interesting. The save and quit left me right there. But yeah, I want to check out this entrance real quick. Since I realize I haven't checked it. Also, what happens if I get another thing? Nothing. It got me 200 rupees, which is kind of nuts. It's D4. Okay. I can work with D4. This could very well be the boss key. I could just leave this for now and come back if I need it, but... Look, we're already done. It is the boss key. <laughs> Sometimes you just know. Thank you. 
So yeah, we're pretty close to go mode at this point. Like, while I technically need cape for D7, like, or Magnet Glove, that's another thing I might need. It is technically possible without. No in-game issues so far. I mean, there, there's still a very minor possibility of something happening in the, towards the end, but I think we're okay, probably. What's up, Blizzard? Yeah, if we can find D6, uh, that pretty much guarantees us in build mode. As long as, uh, as long as D7's doable without the um, Magnet Glove. Which is probably where I'm heading next. I'm just gonna go straight there. I was going to go there earlier, but uh, when I realized I never checked this entrance, this is a more pressing matter. There's really no reason to save scum here. But I don't need that. And I'm pretty sure the final key has to be on the vanilla boss key. But I will check it just in case. Oh, 
hot! I was just off by a hair. I think if I was facing left, I had it. Like, guaranteed. I love these moving platforms so much. They are my favorite thing about this game. access to that entire area. But once we get over there, we're going to be able to do a lot. Alright, what did I say I was going to do? I was going to go to 7. I already cleared. Yeah, I already cleared that. Okay. So there's no reason to do post give. Does it work? Okay, a lava suit. That's something. Of course, there's a key there. And of course, it's last try. Every time. Let's, let's set this up again. I need to go further.
Alright, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this jump. Like, I know it is doable, I just don't feel like doing it. And figuring out the exact, like, pixel that I have to stand on. With the pirate skin. I have a weird idea. <laughs> it works. <laughs> but they have to be close enough. There we go! at this, I'm like, hmm, I need another key. I can't go any further without a key. So I have to do that dumb jump in the basement. I have to at least try it again. spot. Now if not, we have to come back with the magnet glove. There we go. It's not a key. So we need Magnet Club in order to beat this dungeon. But that's a jewel. That's the fourth jewel. <laughs> So now... I think turning in that lava soup is the way of the hero right now. much else I can do. Oh, 
Oh, I have access to one more check that I know I can do. It's probably that. I've had access to that for a very long time. Or it gets me the bomb flower. Uh, where's the best Suburgia? I think there is. Yeah, Mount Kuko gets me Suburgia access. So yeah, we take bomb flower, go there. to avoid the one check that I could have done about an hour ago. I mean, that could be key, which gets me Spool Swamp access, which gets me Torm access, which gets me, like, a million things. The only thing Cape doesn't do for me is it doesn't help me with beating a dungeon. At least not yet. So we check Furnace real quick. And then, worst case scenario is we then go ahead into uh, do the thing that I wasn't doing. That's our case. Where does this leave me? There. Don't want to... Actually, that's pretty close to where I want to be. That's not bad at all. I was like, I don't want to be there. But no, I actually want to. Because I want to get to Spool. So yeah, we have spool access. We have access to the beginning of Tarm. Tarm's not going to be the option right now. Unless the default ends up being something useful. Oh, it was open to begin with. Yeah. So we can't actually do anything there. There is our Gale Seeds. Finally. Oh, 
Also, I realize I never marked Pegasus Seeds on the tracker. So this gets me into a dungeon. Ideally, we want it to be the six. Either that or D5 and we find our Magnet Globe in there. We just want to find Magnet Globe. And then we are in go mode at this point. Is six perfect? And there's summer. small key. There's two small keys. Yeah, we're going to be sitting at one more required essence after this. But unfortunately, all of the required essences at this point are going to require Magnet Glove in some form. D8 is the only one that doesn't necessarily, but logically does. So Magnet Glove cannot be found in the back half of D8. But it could be found in the, like, the front third. Alright, all keys found. I might as well just push straight on to Manhandla and come back in to do right side. I'm 
normally we would end up doing right side first, but that's usually because the boss key's over there. But since we already have boss key, there's no reason not to go this way. Bomb juice don't hold me in on fire. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I forgot to test it. <laughs> but thanks for the confirmation. Yeah, it would have been the best boss. Does it home in on the bat form? It might be useful for the final form. Wait, I have... I have Rang Ring. What am I doing? Look at how fast that went with Rang Ring. <laughs> I mean, I did soften him up a little bit, but still, absolutely obliterated. Alright, back to the grind. Not there. Magnet gloves are probably just going to show up on the one check that I haven't done. That seems inevitable at this point. But I could have a crazier situation and it, I have to go winter into Tarm. Or we get Dragon Key? Oh, I don't have Magna Glove. Yeah, I can't get that one. But that? That dragon key is interesting. So before I go up there... I am gonna go check the one thing that I've been avoiding. ends up having a significant item. I'm gonna be a little annoyed, but uh, at the same time, a little relieved. 
Depends on what it is. I don't want to see Winter. I want to see Magnet Glove. Mirror Shield. Okay. So it wasn't that. Now we have access to summer checks here. So I'm gonna check that. Oh, I don't have winter to get into the dungeon. Never mind. I can't get in there. So it's gotta be here? No. could we be? Oh, summer. Yeah, summer checks. Summer old man. Yeah, we did desert already. Oh wait, isn't there a check for five essences in the tree as well? I think there is. Well, there's our Magnet Gloves, so it doesn't matter. Alright, let's go back to 7 and finish that off. No, I, I didn't do the Spring Check in Eastern Suburbs. That would have been another good one to check, now that we had a cape. That one this time. Oh. I'm just getting like the worst luck. Oh, yeah. B using bomb shoes against the Armos. I didn't even think about it. How do bomb shoes fare against these guys? They don't. Okay. Yeah, the explosion doesn't actually do anything. Oh yeah, that's, that's actually pretty nice. Because it homes in and usually you have two 
back to back. So we're able to kill off two really easily. I don't remember if the ghosts are affected. I don't want to test it. <laughs> I would say it's not worth it. Unless it's your only means of damage. Also, I don't need to check this chest, but I am. I should have checked it on one of the earlier ones. How about here? Not homing it. Okay. Alright. That is number six. Not too bad. Our biggest roadblock was getting Cape and Magnet Glove, realistically. Like, everything else kind of was okay. Onyx's castle. Probably won't be using too much here. I'm just gonna use it on a uh, facade. You can get a lot of quick hits in on facade. One cycle, dude. One cycle. If you get the proper pattern, you get the one cycle. Well, 
Well, it's because they, they'll blow up instantly when they hit his hitbox, versus having to wait for the bombs to blow up on the road. So it's a pretty big time save. Onyx is down. Now into the real final boss. Oh, I, I only have level one. Oh, this is going to be fun. Exactly. Twin Rova is the real final boss. Ganon? And it's only phase one. Phase one is the true final boss with level one sword. We got one. We got one already. We got two. We're gaming. Oh, I almost had it. I almost had it. There we go. Look at that. Look at that gaming. Big Rottens doesn't get the knockback, just like Tools were. Yeah, definitely. Definitely use Big Rottens then, if you're not using the... Oh, I let her move. Whatever.
Oh, I missed. I missed! That was a free hit, too. I think that was like the shortest reverse control phase I've ever seen. But there we go. We finished with a time of 2 hours, 13 minutes, and 12 seconds. Six essences. Got to try out some bomb chews. Not too bad. It's a little unfortunate that bomb chews can't be used on a lot of the bigger enemies, but it is what it is. Yeah, and no big bugs except for the visual bug on the file select screen, which really doesn't affect anything. Otherwise, it went pretty smooth. Though the part where I got... I got the Fool's Ore and... No, I got the Shovel into the Fool's Ore into this sword all like back to back and then it was like a mad rush to try and do all the gash of nuts because now I can finally harvest them and no we got nothing from them We were able to use bomb shoes in some interesting spots. I liked my little cheeky bomb shoe uh, tactic in D7 to bomb the dark nuts across the gap. I didn't have to do that, but it was kind of fun. But yeah, the only other thing was because of the addition of bomb shoes, uh, the auto tracker was not working properly because everything was offset. Not a big deal in the grand scheme of things. Like, manually tracking isn't a bad thing. It's just an inconvenience when you're used to auto tracking. Definitely threw me off a little bit in the early game, forgetting to enter certain entrances and do dungeons and do certain things. But we, uh, we got used to it after a while. Yeah, that's going to do it for another Oracle of Seasons Archipelago Randomizer. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will catch you all next time.